hold up. What's wrong with this picture? Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to scare you. But before you begin supplementing your diet with any sort of multivitamins, it is best to first understand what they are. In an ideal world, everyone would be eating nutrient-dense food and consuming the correct amount of vitamins and minerals to sustain a healthy lifestyle. However, that is not always the case. So how do people make up for this nutritional deficit? Well, multivitamin supplements are the answer. Let's begin by determining what a multivitamin supplement is. Multivitamins are a combination of vitamins and minerals, while multivitamin supplements are something that can be taken to compensate for the lack of the required vitamins and minerals in the body. Vitamins are essential for the body since the body cannot synthesize them on its own. Therefore, in order to obtain these vitamins, we must eat nutritious foods. They can either be water soluble, meaning they are taken daily because they cannot be stored in the body, or they can be fat soluble, which are stored in the body. On the other hand, minerals are required in small doses to help synthesize hormones in the body. There are many reasons why some people choose to take multivitamins, but the most popular ones include correcting a nutritional deficiency and improving overall health, which includes cardiovascular health, healthy aging, and preventing cancer. However, in today's society, we're eating more processed foods that contain low nutritious value. Multivitamin supplements can be a great way to fill in the gaps in our diet. However, the efficacy of these supplements in improving overall health is always in question. A systematic review conducted by Alexander et al. looked to determine whether multivitamin supplements could improve one's overall health. They reviewed 15 studies and determined that there was no correlation between taking multivitamin supplements and an overall decrease in cancer, cardiovascular disease, and related mortalities. On the other hand, it was recognized that they can provide protective benefits by meeting one's recommended daily nutritional values. Furthermore, another systematic review by Fortman et al. reinforced the previous results by examining 26 studies which concluded that there was no effectiveness of multivitamin supplements in the prevention of heart disease, cancer, and early death. Therefore, research suggests that multivitamins do not need to be an essential part of your diet, especially if you're already meeting the recommended daily values from Canada's Food Guide. Since this proves that multivitamins have the ability to help individuals meet their nutritional deficits, but could not provide any added benefits, should Nathania and Naya both be taking multivitamin supplements? Well, Nathania eats chicken nuggets for every meal, which does not meet her daily nutritional requirements. Therefore, she should supplement her diet with a multivitamin to compensate for her lack of essential vitamins and minerals. On the contrary, Naya eats well and tries to meet her daily requirements consistently. Therefore, Taking multivitamin supplements are not benefiting her as much as she believes they would. You should always make informed decisions and consult your doctor before supplementing your diet with multivitamins. If you like this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the Demystifying Medicine channel. Thanks for watching.